welcome back to our poetry unit. So far we've discussed what is poetry? What would I like to write poems about? How can we use poems to share life lessons? And how can we use sensory details to create a picture in our readers' minds? Today we'll talk about how can we use figurative language to help our reader visualize or see what is happening. Today we'll talk about three types of figurative language, similes, metaphors, and personification. These are all poetic tools that help the reader visualize or see what's happening in a story or poem. Figurative language is in more than just poetry. You also see it in songs and movies. For example, I got that sunshine in my pocket. Lightning strikes every time she moves. Baby, you're a firework. First, let's talk about similes. Similes compare two things using the word like or as. For example, her eyes shine like diamonds. Or, our soldiers are brave as lions. The young man is as cunning as a fox. The laughing children sounded like bells ringing. Metaphors compare two things, but they don't use the word like or as. Jordan was a tornado of emotions. We're comparing Jordan's emotions to a tornado, but we're not using the word like or as. Love is a journey. The classroom was a zoo. Their ideas are difficult to swallow. Finally, personification. Personification gives human traits to non-humans. The stars danced playfully in the moonlit sky. Time flew before we knew it. It was time for me to go home. And the sun glared down at me from the sky. Dancing, flying, glaring, those are things that humans do. Let's talk about how to complete today's assignment. If you're on a phone, make sure you're in print layout. If you're on the computer, make sure to fit the document. Read the learning targets and today's learning schedule. First, you're going to watch a video to learn about similes and metaphors. Then write the definition of a simile here and select two similes from the video to fill them out on the chart below. We've already done one example for you. Finally, write your own simile. Then you'll do the same thing for a metaphor. You'll define a metaphor, give two examples from the video, and then write your own. Next, we'll move on to personification. Watch another short video to learn about personification, define what personification is, and then find three examples from the video, and then write your own example. Now's the fun part where you get to use figurative language. You will use figurative language, remember that's personification, similes, and metaphors, to describe these images below. Start by deleting this sentence and describing this image using figurative language. If you get stuck, there's some sentence starters on the bottom to help you. The final image you'll describe is a Harry Potter cover. If you get stuck, there's sentence starters to help you. Finally, don't forget to reflect on the learning targets and check in with your teacher. And always press mark as done when you're finished.